Namaskara. In this session, we will discuss a special problem of Fourier transform. We consider this problem find the Fourier transform of e raised to minus kx square where k is positive. To solve, to solve this problem, we will use some special techniques. Okay, we know that uh, the, the formula of Fourier transform 1 by root 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x e raised to minus i omega x dx. Okay, so we simply replace this f of x by e raised to minus kx square. So this equation become 1 by root 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity e raised to minus kx square into e raised to minus i omega x dx. Okay. Next, we have to combine these two terms because this is of the form e raised to a into e raised to b that is equal to e raised to a plus b. So what happened? Okay, this becomes like this e raised to minus of kx square plus i omega x because minus n is common. Uh, next, we use completing the square technique on this term such that this becomes uh, sum of two square terms. Okay. Okay, we know that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Comparing this uh, this right hand side ex expression with uh, this term. Okay, so here a square is equal to kx square. So what is a? So a is equal to root kx. Clear. And this 2ab equal to the second term. Here the sign is plus, that's why we use a plus b whole square. Okay, if it is minus, we use a minus b whole square. Anyway, here uh, instead of 2ab, we have i omega x. And what is our a? a is root kx. So, what about this term? The second term become 2 times a is root kx into b. We can equate this second term to uh, i omega x. We can cancel these two x's. So, this become root, uh, 2 root kb equal to i omega. So, b equal to i omega by 2 root k. Then we can easily uh, split this as sum of two squares by adding and subtracting a b square. Okay. Okay, we simply add uh, b square. What is our b square? That is i omega by 2 root k whole square, and we subtract the same term. So there is no change. Okay. And uh, what about these first three terms? The first three terms of the form a square plus 2ab plus b square. So this is nothing, this is root kx plus i omega by 2 root k whole square. Okay. So this expression become like this. Now it is uh, sum of two squares. Okay. Next we expand this bracket and split these as two terms. Like this is e raised to a into e raised to a plus b form. So you can split this as e raised to a into e raised to b. Okay. So we split, first we expand this bracket, so this is minus, this is plus, then we expand this e raised to a plus b like e raised to a into e raised to b. Okay. In next step uh, here, uh, this is constant, e raised to i omega by 2 root k square is a constant with respect to x, so you can take outside. Okay, so this become, also one more thing, uh, here we can expand this square term, so this become e raised to minus omega square i square is minus 1 raised to minus omega square by uh, 4k okay so this whole expression become okay now our main aim is to evaluate this integral for evaluating this integral we uh, substitute uh, a new variable that is u u is equal to root kx plus i omega by 2k that is uh, this is our substitution u is equal to root kx plus i omega by 2 root k. So, what about du? Yes, du is equal to root k dx. So, dx become du by root k. So, this expression become uh, this time is same. Okay, integral e raised to uh, minus u square. This is our u e raised to minus u square. And dx become du by root k. Okay. Then what about the limits? Limit is very clear. Uh, when x equal to minus infinity, and this is a positive square root of 
k already we assume that k is positive so this positive square root of k is also positive okay so a positive quantity into minus infinity type okay so this is a fixed we can treat this as a fixed number so uh, positive uh, number into minus infinity so this term become minus infinity okay so the lower limit is same as minus infinity and similarly what about the upper limit when x equal to infinity and this is positive so this whole quantity is tends to plus infinity so the limits become uh, integral minus infinity to plus infinity here is to minus okay so this entire uh, integral is like this so now our aim is to evaluate okay this root k is if constant so you can take outside so what happened okay we take this root k outside so this become root 2 pi k totally change so now our aim is to evaluate this integral okay to to evaluate this integral we use a special technique just i will show you okay uh, this is our technique we choose this integral as i okay this integral we choose this integral as i so we know that for a definite integral the variable is immaterial whatever with the variable the final answer remains same so we choose i as integral to minus infinity to plus infinity raised to minus x square dx we can also write the same i as like this integral minus infinity to plus infinity raised to minus y square dy next we consider i square i into i so this i square become okay so i square is uh, integral this into this okay and it is clear that here uh, this integral doesn't depend x and this integral doesn't depend y so we can write this as double integral e raised to minus x square into e raised to minus y square dx dy and again this is of the form e raised to a into e raised to b so you can combine these two so this becomes e raised to minus of uh, x square plus y square okay this is familiar how to integrate this double integration yes that is using our which coordinate system Yes, using polar coordinate system that is x equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta then it is uh, we know that x square plus y square equal to r square and what about dx dy in polar coordinates yes it is r dr d theta okay so next we have to convert this double integration to this cartesian double integration to polar double integration so next we have to find the uh, what is the range of r and theta in this problem okay to identify the range we consider our uh, a coordinate system here x is varying from minus infinity to plus infinity and y is also varying from minus infinity to plus infinity that means we have to cover this entire plane okay we have to cover this entire plane so what is the range of r r is the radius from the origin so r should be varying from 0 to uh, infinity okay r should varying from 0 to infinity and to cover this entire region theta should varying from 0 to 2 pi so this is the range of r this is the range of theta now everything is clear so now we are ready to convert this integral in polar coordinates okay okay you can write okay to evaluate this integral we use a another simple substitution that is v equal to r square so dv equal to uh, 2 rdr and what about rdr rdr become dv by 2 and similarly what about the range of this integral it is also very easy because when uh, r equal to 0 v is also 0 when r equal to infinity v is also infinity okay so there is no change in this limits so this integral become i square is equal to 0 to 2 pi 0 to infinity e raised to minus v uh, dv by 2 d theta okay 1 by 2 is constant you can take outside so this become 1 by 2 integral 0 to 2 pi we integrate this series to minus v with respect to v so that is series to minus v by minus 1 it is like this okay and uh, when v equal to infinity this is series to minus infinity that is 0 when v equal to 0 this become 1 okay so this expression become okay so this is like this 0 minus minus 1 so this become uh, plus 1 so 1 d theta you integrate this with respect to theta this become theta and 0 to 2 pi when we substitute upper limit and lower limit this become 2 pi 
right? 2 pi minus 0, that is 2 pi. So, pi. So, ultimately, our i score equal to pi. Our aim is to evaluate this quantity. This is nothing, this is our i. So, what is i? Yes, i is equal to root pi. Yes, so i is equal to root pi. So, just substitute this uh, i in this equation that gives our Fourier transform of Fourier to minus k. Okay. So, I just uh, substitute this root pi here and uh, you can cancel one root pi. So, this become e raised to minus omega square by 4k divided by square root of 2k. Okay. So, this is the uh, Fourier transform of e raised to minus kx square. Uh, okay, anyway, yes, this result is, uh, this, the problem is lengthy, but this is very important because with the help of this result, we can derive these two transforms, Fourier cosine transform of the same function and similarly, we can easily derive Fourier sine transform of uh, this from this uh, equation, okay, because the direct evaluation of uh, these two uh, transforms are not easy, that's very complicated, okay, so with the help of this Fourier transform, and its properties. We will see that in the coming sessions, uh, we can easily derive these two. So that is another uh, importance of this problem. Actually, this problem is lengthy. Yes, this is the Fourier transform yes, 1 by root 2 pi raised to minus omega square by 4. Okay, thank you.